ghost cording or ghost chords. Ghost chords are in many ways exactly like the hard shuffle cording. The chords are the same. The rhythm is the same. The desire to play the chords with uh, no sustain, very choppy and staccato is the same. Although there are some differences. The biggest difference is with the ghost cording, this is done from a tongue blocking embouchure. As a matter of fact, it's done with what I call a full tongue block. That is your tongue blocks out everything. This is kind of a special thing in the blues harmonica world, in my opinion. So you just relax, drop your jaw, and then stick your tongue out and block cover everything on holes one, two, one, two, and three. And the only time you hear that chord is when the tongue comes off. So it'll come off and then instantly go back on. Here is what one ghost chord will look like. Here's what it sounds like. Just kind of a wisp. Uh, the term ghost is not an accident. You want this to be very vague and phantom-like. Here is what the ghost chording sounds like on the harmonica. Here's what it looks like. Rhythm is the same, the notes are the same, and the staccato, lack of sustain, is the same. The tricky thing is getting in the mindset that your tongue is sticking out most of the time and touching the harmonica. It only comes off for the shortest amount of time possible to allow the chord to ring. The chord should sound very spitty and breathy and airy. Um, that's an important part of this thing. It's also important, don't move your jaw. If you're moving your jaw, then you're not exercising the tongue. This is a valuable thing to build up extra tongue coordination and agility. Have it come all be from the tongue. The second thing is do not take the harmonica out of your mouth. This is not uh, really best done by taking the harmonica in and out of your mouth. It stays in your mouth when you're doing it. Important little detail there. Don't take the harmonica out of your mouth. That's about uh, all there is there with ghost cording. It is something that basically I learned from listening carefully to the recordings, mainly of Little Walter and Rice Miller, Sonny Boy Number 2, where they had this very subtle, phantom-like ghost, this cording effect going on. It's possible that they could have, in fact, been doing it other ways, but I'm finding in my teaching, my experience teaching, that if you mimic the ghost cording by only using the tongue, not moving the jaw, then you are going to build up extra tongue blocking skill and agility. Only move the tongue when you are doing the ghost cording. That's ghost courting.